Welcome to Game Boomers Live. We're playing some Medieval tonight. Um, load the game, not new game. Yep. <laughs> Deb, you want to start over? <laughs> no. Are you going to play on, on hard mode? <laughs> yes, hello everyone. I'm not in a wheelchair. I, I'm not in a wheelchair. You I didn't die. You didn't, you didn't actually die out there. No, no. I, it, it, I just slipped. It wasn't anything too... You were like, oh my back! Oh! And I was like, no. you fucking old ass man. Well, the problem the problem is that I injured my back last year, and I have to be super careful about yeah. it. So, I mean, it was it was more stiff than sore, but I really didn't want to take any chances. Mm. But but you were riding the bus. Why, why would not you just ride it back here? And just, oh. Why would not you just ride the bus back here? No, it was the only. It was like I was leaving, leaving, leaving the work. Right? I no, it was, I was going back to Dom's because I left my stuff there. And then I slipped. God damn it, Dave. <laughs> yeah. Why would, okay, why would you bother going back to Dom's in the first place if you had to be here? Because I got off work early enough that I was like, okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back and I grab my duffel bag and I bring all my stuff back. We have all these things. It's all good. I think I even got the one in the town, didn't I? I. I'm pretty sure. I mildly injured myself. It wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't too too bad. It was just I really didn't want to take any chances. And that was really stiff. The only the level time. available is the Enchanted Earth. Oh. It's this bullshit. Yeah, the art. The an yeah, but we've already been over this. Dude, you just got flaming arrows. You're going to do fine. I also got like the boomerang axe. Yeah. Yeah. Best Batman movie? Probably Joker. It's really good. I dude. haven't seen Joker yet, so I cannot make that it's statement. It's really fucking good. Then cells rise up. Gamers rise up. I mean, obviously my favorite Batman is 1966 Batman, so nothing can <laughs> beat Backshot Repellent. I, I plan on seeing Joker. I keep planning to go see these like better quality movies in theaters because I still have these these uh, um, coupon like this this vouchers from my air miles for uh, for like two free tickets and uh, popcorn and drinks and stuff like that. Yes, for like a date night with Dom. It's just that the fucking timing never works out. Usually, you know, you know, you know, you know the best times to go are usually when I'm supposed to stream. So. It's all your faults. Uh, all of you. All of you. I'm sure we'll... But well, also because like, you work... It's also when you work, though. You also work nights yeah, a lot. Yeah, I know. What What could... Like, okay, so... Crap. Nah. Nah, that's fine. Well, as soon as you can quit Home Depot and join the channel full-time, Dave, then you can... Go, go go movies once a week whenever you like. No, Dave, I'm gonna... Be, I'm gonna become the next CEO. You heard the people. <laughs> Are you actually... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no. Okay, so Dave, so for those of you who don't know, Dave went on a job shadowing because he wants to move up the corporate ladder over at our dear friend Home Depot land. Yep, yep. And how did you, how did your job shadowing go, Dave? How, tell the story from the beginning to the end while I just boomerang axe these fucking Fair enough. these herbicides. Yeah. Thanks, Butters. Okay. Thanks, Butters. So, um, fucking asshole. <laughs> so I was told, I found out last week that I was supposed to be going on this trip. Uh, very last minute, um, I'm, I was kind of pissed because I, f I found out later on that if I if I known and because the other there's another person that was going that they'd known, uh, I could have booked the weekend off, could have stayed with my sister and my brother-in-law and my niece, and I could have actually gone to the Santa Claus Parade in Toronto. With them. Yep, which fucking pissed me off. But it turns out it didn't happen that way. But you know, you know, whatever. It's just it is what it is. It's life. It is what God. That's a terrible fucking saying. It's, that's life. Shit happens. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever we want to say. Regardless. Mm -hmm. On the next stranding session today, uh, it's not going to happen. Apparently, apparently, Dev and Aomer is done with the game. Dude, I'm, I'm not I'm playing, playing the game anymore. I'm, I'm playing, so fucking done with I'm it. I'm playing it on my own, like outside of the show. Um, I guess if it came down to it, I suppose like if 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 I needed like you need a solo stream, I could do I could do a death stranding session. Yeah, but dude, death stranding fucking sucks. So much! That we should get hot of peyote run through Home Depot. Uh, 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 huh. Okay. I mean, go on, Dave. Anyways. You're supposed to do the thing. Okay, so yeah, they bust me down. Uh, they get they I got uh, ticket bus tickets. Uh, they booked a hotel for me for the night. All paid for by them. All well reimbursed. Oh well yeah, paid for paid for by them. I uh, I was told they gave me a preloaded credit card, but it didn't work. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I had to register under my name. And I told I told the HR manager, I'm like, yeah, man, it didn't work. He's like, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> but he, he sent me an e-transfer for me for everything anyways. But yeah. anyways, yeah, it was really cool. I got to stay in this place. 
Um, it's called the Don Valley, Toronto Don Valley Hotel. It's very, very close. It's like a seven minute walk from head office. Yeah. Um, king size bed. Didn't have a refrigerator for some stupid reason, but it had a balcony. So I'm like, okay, well, how was the view in the balcony? Did I, you go out there and you were like, yes, I rule this city. <laughs> nah, I didn't bother. I honestly didn't bother. So that, that was fine. I did order some room service though. Did you? Yeah, it was expensive. W was it on the company dime? Uh, yeah. So you just didn't give a fuck about it being expensive, did you? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing. I asked him later, and I said, like, okay, like even even my um, my U ride, which is like Canadian Uber, to get yeah. back to uh, to Dom's place, uh, is that covered? And he said, literally anything anything you paid for on that trip, we will compensate you. I'm like, oh, fucking awesome. <laughs> well, dude, you should have like. I should have blown. I, like, well, you, I, I wanted to be responsible, right? I wanted. I wanted to show you, them they could trust me. You, know, you should do. You should have like bought, what, like bought a car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bought hookers, medical grade cocaine. <laughs> should have bought a gaming piece, dude. If I if I could have one. No. Yes, dude. Should have bought when they said say. expenses. Yeah. Okay. Chick fil A. Got, got Chick fil A. Okay. okay. So I got Popeyes. You didn't mail me my sandwich. I didn't mail you anything, Dev. What do you mean I fucking bought my sandwich? Pop. Uh, Honestly, it was it was it was a good sandwich, but I, I got the um, the Cajun sauce, and it, it was so much. It was more heat than flavor. It was a bit it was a bit disappointing. I should have put the <laughs> bags of groceries. Because they're an expense. Yeah, it's true. Especially in the '80s. I did. Oh no, I checked. I checked. I checked to see if I could get Chick Fil A actually delivered to me, but um, where I was, it was in North York. Which is like northern, it's northern Toronto. There's no, there's no like Uber Eats or anything? Oh, they have Uber Eats. Uh, there, there's, okay, so Chick-fil-A is associated with um, a, an app called DoorDash. Yes. But it's outside, I was outside the delivery circle. Um, yeah. No, that's the thing, I, I, I even, I messaged you and Dom, like, I can't get Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> I was seriously bummed out. My Chick-fil-A. Yeah. That's fine. I, I it was kind of cool though, like kind of living, you know, that... Oh, you never figured out what to do here. No, I didn't. Shit. Do you want to? Do you want me to look it up? Shit. Or someone? Maybe someone in the chat can tell you. Play cucked out. Yeah, my. Uh, yeah, them gays. Okay. See, so there's that that I can't handle, and then there's also the um. The what is it? The underground area with the ants. Yeah. Well, that that you can do. That one you can definitely do. Because hey, you, you got you, you got like, this. Sorry, sorry. Uh, Lady Lara and I. But yes. What's up? Whatever. It, anyways, it was cool to kind of get the idea of what it was like to you know be in like a proper business trip because this was a business trip. Yes, it was. It was and it was it was a nice feeling. It really was, especially for someone you know who's been a student for as long as I have and <laughs> have nothing. Uh, you you've basically been a student since about two months ago. <laughs> yeah. You disappointed me. Why? No, of course, Zigaten. Zigaten is, is like the eternally disappointed father, or you know, snotty kid. <laughs> Okay, the witch is here. She cornered Do DoorDash guy to hand off the order to an Uber Eats guy. <laughs> Dude, that would have been amazing. Oh, yeah. I tried Zigaton. I, I really did. I just wasn't anyway, close enough. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Oh, okay, also, also I, I, I was given two key cards, one to my room, but also one to this business lounge that just that just came out <laughs> disappointing you for staying on the show. I went in there and like they had like water bottles and tea and like snacks and like that. I went in and I just fucking just grabbed everything I could. And I just, what? <laughs> because I'm still I'm still a poor student in many ways. Wait, do you still do you, where where are they? Is it like back at Tom's? All the stuff? No, I I just used it. Like how much tea did you drink? You were gone for like two days. <laughs> Don't worry about it. No, Holy that, shit, dude. Nah, it's okay. I, I had some tea in the morning. I had some tea in the morning. I, I should have gotten breakfast. I could have yeah. gotten breakfast uh, delivered, like a room service breakfast, but I wasn't that Congrats, hungry. dude. Congrats on your raise. Oh, nice, man. Dave should have bought the most expensive pocket pussy. Business lounge are great at airports. It did seem pretty sweet, but I was just so tired. Like, I'm not going to stay in here for long. Yeah. I just took, yeah, I took a newspaper and a bunch of stuff they had there that was, you know, whatever. Just filled your pocket. They, they didn't have booze. Like, no, they don't, they don't have alcohol in there. That's, that's way too much reliability. <laughs> But um, I, I didn't sleep very well. I, I kept waking up every couple hours, even though the bed was super comfortable. Um, and I found out there's like this girl that got arrested there. She's called Chair Girl, and she got arrested for throwing like a chair and a bunch of other shit out of a high rise in downtown Toronto. Why? Because <laughs> she's a fucking she's a 19 year old idiot. I feel I feel great. Nothing. She's just being a complete tard. 
Like an absolute fucking tired. I did work out today, actually, yes. Also, I've stuck to a diet, like, pretty consistently for the past five days. Good job. Feels good. Yay. So anyway, so anyways, so, I suited up. I, I, I ended did, up. Did you, did you actually have to like wear a full suit? Like, was it a full suit? No, thing? no, no, no. I, I didn't have to. What I did was I, I wore my suit without the tie. Yeah. Because <laughs> my shirt had this crease that wouldn't fucking come out. Yeah. Uh, I kept because I, I was ironing. I was ironing my stuff before I went. Yeah. And uh, I just couldn't get this stupid crease out. So I'm like, oh fuck! I'll just wear my blazer. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I get there, and it's like this, you know, this fucking giant business complex that has a food court, like a full food court on, on the ground floor and the reception area. And then Home Depot, they, they, they have, uh, they, they own the like fourth, fifth, eighth, ninth, 10th, 11th and 12th floors, I think, like of this building. Most, they, they own most of it, most of it. But there's a few smaller businesses in there. So I was just going, wow, that's actually kind of weird. Do you think that company this huge would have more space, but I guess they're slowly, slowly grabbing the, the real estate as they can. Yeah. Yeah. So it wasn't good enough for them? Exactly. There might, I think there might have been someone that was already there. That's why. I think it's like a like small financial firm, small uh, legal firm, stuff like that. Yeah. So, you know, whatever. Anyways, I get up there. Hold on, guys. I get Hold my, on. I get my, I get my, my, key, my fucking visitor's badge, all that kind of stuff like that. And I'm expecting this like 50 year old guy in a suit to come out. And then these two guys come out and they're, they're my age, they're wearing casual clothes. Like, hey man, how's it going? And all this I'm just going, what the fuck is going on? Turns out, it, you know, it was Friday. It was casual Friday, that sort of thing. Yeah. So, I, I went up to them. I, I spent a good chunk of the day on the fifth floor, which is like marketing, marketing merchandising, or some merchandising, e-commerce, advertising. Uh, there's some of the, uh, like the programmers and like layout design and stuff like that. Um, that was the chillest floor. It was very, it was open concept. There was no, there was no cubicles like that. Oh, the other God. floors have cubicles. This one doesn't. And there's, they're converting all the other floors to, to uh, open concept. Yeah. And for those of you who work in open concept offices, I mean, I'm sure you can agree that it's a mixed bag. You know, it, it's, it's nice, you, you know. No privacy. More communication, but no privacy, nowhere to really hang your coat. Yeah. It's, it wasn't hell though. I actually kind of liked, I liked the open concept. It seemed really, really laid back. And I realized that it was Friday. Yeah, yeah. people are in better moves on Fridays. And Dev, don't, don't pick. Oh, oh, never mind. I need it. I need oh, it. Okay, never mind, never mind. I didn't realize. Also, it's not just that it was Friday. It's also that, like, they know someone's going to be there, so they're, they're going to, like, be in their best behavior. Actually, a lot of people didn't know. <laughs> oh, no? <laughs> no. Well, the, the bosses knew, though. Like, yeah, the, yeah. They put on a good show for visitors. Everyone does. Just how it is. Like, you want to be hospitable, right? Um, to a, to a point, but at the same time, when I notice people like around each other, when I, cause you know, like I, I observe people otherwise and it's seemed... fucking creepster. Go on. Well, I wanted to observe because I need to know if it was worthwhile. And yeah. what I got was, it actually seems pretty laid back there. I and mean, obviously it's a business and they have, they have their stressors and, and they have to the, actually do work eventually. They have yes. to do their work, but, <laughs> but dude, I wasn't there just for a like a, you know, like a little social gathering. I was there to actually yeah, no, watch I yeah. work. Yeah. I get to sit in, has Dev ever put on a good show? Uh, that's debatable, I suppose. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I got to go to a general meeting, like stuff like, um, anal like a lot of the analytics about, about their website and on search and stuff like that, yeah. on uh, specific search terms. I, I t end up telling these, a bunch of people what, they didn't know what mixer.com was, and I had to tell them it's like a shittier Twitch. Did they know what Twitch was? Uh, yeah, it seemed like they did. Okay, which was surprising because uh, a couple of them were a little. Actually, the one the one woman seemed like she was probably in her forties. Everyone else was like twenties, thirties. Oh, very, very young. Employee. Oh shit! Oh shit! Very young. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm in my room. <laughs> Ooh boy! Christ! Oh, there's another one. Very good. Very good. Hey Dev. Yeah. You realize you still have your uh, arrows and shit too, right? But why would I use that when I have like a fucking boomerang axe? Because it does. Just like fucking goes down there. You're just there. Thor now. You're just, you're just, you're just Thor. You're just mm. ghetto Thor. Anyway. Go on. Yeah. Um, so I, 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 I did get to know a lot of stuff. I got very involved with, with these meetings. I went to uh, eventually, you know, kind of kind of joining in on all of the jokes and suggestions and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Answer Dante Kurai. 
don't know what you're saying. I don't know. I, I'm, dude, I'm not watching the chat. Like, that's supposed to be you. I'm, I'm, I, currently, I'm trying to. I'm currently having, like, an, a fucking ant war here. Did you buy noticed. a game for you to play for episode until completion? It depends on the, on the length of the game. Yeah, on, also on the quality of the game. Or, or the quality. Yeah, if the game is, like, complete shit and, like, basic on playable, then we'll do a session. Was, okay, like, like, boring. Okay, boring we won't do. Yeah. But, like, bad. It's but like hilariously bad. We'll do the whole thing. Well, that's just it. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's like Sonic there's, 6 was hilariously bad. Yeah. There's there's yeah. There's entertaining bad and then and then there's bland. So yeah, definitely a trade off there. When you finish bad rats, because it was just bad all round. You're a bad rat, butters. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't even need to look down to know that was him. Of course. <laughs> well, yeah, because it was the game that you want us to play. Exactly. Oh, was that um behind you? Was it wasn't was not the uh, I don't know the life. I already got it. Energy. I got it. What was it? You think it was a healing spot there? I thought it was a healing spot. I, 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 might I don't think wrong. so, but anyway, go on. But you're so you're you're at this place. I think it was just this, man. Was it? No, left. Up. What's ooh, that? Ooh, maybe. Ha ha ha! Oh god! Oh god! Oh. Dave Nix is right. Is it? Are you? Yeah. Well, so am I. <laughs> there we go. Yes. Anyways, moving on. <clears throat> I didn't. I wasn't just there to just fuck around, you know, like not just go to the music like that. I actually got to sit with a guy. Uh, Brian was his name. He's the marketing specialist for mm -hmm. the department I mainly work in, hardware, which was really cool. He actually showed me some of the new products. Uh, he showed me some of the promotion pitches he was making. They have to do these these briefs where they they basically come up with ideas for promotions and uh, work with the vendors. And he like his email list was just huge. Yeah. And it was everyone from but any know, like that, you know. Yeah. yeah. yeah well, I realized that it was just it was just yeah. really it was really cool to see exactly who was on there and how many. It was really cool to see an adult working an adult normal job for once. I've never yeah. had that. <laughs> hey Zigaton, <laughs> it's like watching paint dry. Well, no, because I don't work in paint normally. <laughs> <laughs> I make mean, products you sell. Anyway, where, oh yeah, who do you work for? Hey, hold on, hold on. Well, well, here, let's actually. Continue this conversation. Let's move it along a bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. This is not just about like Dave wanks off about his trip. Like, let's actually get to, the, get to the crux of the issue. So, yeah, you you were like, okay, this this actually. Looks I really cool. okay. Yeah, the long, too long didn't read. I really enjoyed the experience. I, I was really I was really inspired. I, I was you know still going. Hey, you know like the, if there's a possibility of me getting a job here, that I, I think I'd legitimately enjoy it. Mm -hmm. um, there was a, a job. Role that opened up. That I was told, especially because they they asked me like, how long have you been in the company for? Like, where do you work in the store? And I told them, and I, I was like, I work in like half the fucking departments in the store. I've been there for almost eight years collectively. And they're like, holy shit. It, it, did, did you tell them that, like you left and came back for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I found out that a couple of, of women that work in marketing have very similar degrees to what I have. Yeah, they have like social work, social work. No, like media stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because the guy, the one of the people that's. Um, God, yeah, yeah. The, the, actually, the girl that I, I was at her desk, she's on vacation. She's in Japan. She's going to fucking Hong Kong. <laughs> she's, what, she's caught in Hong Kong? She's going to Hong Kong. She 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 booked it like long before the protest started. Oh, well, she's fucked then, isn't she? She's yeah. Like, dead. Well, dude, if she dies, I'm maybe like get her job. <laughs> wow, really, Dave? I'm, no, I know. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Um, she's got a communications degree. I mean, like they, they they basically had degrees that they can they can put they can put someone they're learning towards a job like that. Yes. Yeah. The harvest of your general existence, are you not worried? Nah. No. I was honestly joking, guys. I don't want I don't want this woman to die. I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I want her to die. Well Dev wants her to die, but he's he's sicker than I am. So uh, uh, okay. So anyway. Yeah, anyways, I was thinking about it. I talked I was, you know, okay, like I'm gonna get Marisma all brushed up, I'm gonna apply this I'm actually gonna apply this job and see what happens. Like if I don't get it, whatever, no big deal. But then uh, Dev kind of went through everything with me and said, you know, kept reminding me of how fucking expensive it is. Because you've never lived in Toronto. I've never lived in Toronto. My sister lives uh, in an Oakville, which is almost like a suburb now. Yep. And I live in Toronto. You live in Toronto. And we, we have, have friends you live in who live down. We have friends who live down there. Yeah, we do. And I was like, listen, Dave, here's the area that you wanted to live that you thought would be cheaper. And the average rent was like $2,000 a month. Yeah. For like an apartment, not for a house. Yeah. For like a one or two bedroom apartment. Yeah. And I was like, Dave, let's say that your job is for fifty thousand dollars a year. Mm -hmm. 
you're spending $24,000 a year on rent. Yeah. Then there's utilities. Yeah. Then there's taxes. Yeah. Then there's the increased cost of living because like food's gonna be more expensive, etc., etc. Then there's gonna be the fact that you yeah. might want to actually have a social life. You will not be saving any money to put towards your 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 student debt if you take this job. Yeah. And that was your that was your only reason for doing it. Like I gotta go where the money is, man. I'm like, yeah, you gotta go where the money is, but like, there's no money in this actually. Well, my main <laughs> my main focus was was money. Yeah. Um, but I also was pretty impressed with the kind of work they did, and I liked the environment. Mm -hmm. You know. And they they do have a lot of perks there. And yes, I know I know that this is the, the this is the honey trap, right? The honey pot, yes. The honey pot, honey trap, whatever. This point, you will enter the chamber of the housing prices are they're pretty shit. Yeah, I mean, they're getting worse because uh, uh, the bubble isn't. It's still it's still yep. getting to the point Tr where it needs a burst. Toronto's the worst place in Canada for for housing. For yeah, that kind of you stuff. have to live in the burbs. You really do. Um, everyone that I talked to, that like uh, I, like I was in the, the lunchroom. They have they have a lunchroom on that floor. Yeah. They have a main lunchroom, but they have they have like a separate one there that we mm -hmm. all sat in. I think it makes you single with Sim Ant. I don't know. I never played it. But yeah, I was like, Dave, like, like how much is going to cost? Like, look how much you're actually going to make? Because yeah. you're like, because they're coming in from okay, Barry and actually, well, like on, a bunch of others. Do you actually want to say like how much debt? I don't. I, well, I, I don't know how much it is at this point. It's probably between forty to fifty thousand at least. Yeah. So, like, if you were just making. Sixty thousand dollars, fifty thousand dollars, and you had no expenses. You paid off in a year. Yeah, but you, you you'd be putting towards well, I, like seventy five percent of your total check at least. We go we go towards expensives. So it's like you are not going to be able to pay off debt if you take this job, mm -hmm. and, and you might as well just stay here because because then at least there's like other opportunities. Dev, I sincerely think you should pull out the um, the bow and arrow. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, but I have the boomerang sword. I don't need it. Fine. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you would be an ant fucker second time. Right, so basically, the only potential there, it, like, for me to go there and be substantial, is, is like, live with, like, stay with my sister and her family and live extremely cheaply for a, for, because it's a, their contract. It's like a year contract, 18 month contract, depending on the type of job. Very few of the job listings on there were for like just straight out of the gate full time, because yep. they want to test you. I mean, it, they they can they you know they can they can do whatever with the contract, and I don't think it's necessarily an evil thing. I think they're they're being cautious because companies get burned a lot. So, this, 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 actually, this, is doing, this is doing way more damage than the uh, than the fire arrow was. I, I think he, I think he's like, he's like a fire elemental creature, so. He's not taking much damage. Or she, or whatever. She is a fire ant. She's a fire ant. Okay. I'm ready. Nice. Oh. Remember to use your shield too, eh? I don't got You're either. not using it. Dev, you get hit. You, 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 yeah. you can't attack when you're. Well, when fire you're, arrow when isn't you're isn't full though. AOE unless you charge it, so you could potentially just use it as is. But yeah, Dev, you don't you don't block like ever. Best defense is a good offense. Fucking own. Dev uses shield. Not your shield. <laughs> Literally not your shield, Dev. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I was like. Cause, Cause here's the thing, I know you in general, like w when you go on trips, you get rose colored glasses about yeah. the whole thing. And you're like, oh, oh, it's incredible. And let's hold on a minute, Dave. I'm just like, listen, man. Yeah. Like, no, the thing is this time I don't feel like, I don't feel like I got rose colored glasses the same kind of way because I was watching, I was really watching these work. Like, fuck. <laughs> Holy fuck, I take so much damage. You're not blocking, you dipshit. Use R1. Fucking hell. Dude, how do I attack while I'm blocking? You, you, oh, uh, uh, you take uh, the uh, hits. Uh, you take. You I, ta I, I, I take the hits. Eh? I just take them. No, no. she exposed. Dave. She fucking exposed herself. Just hit her. Uh, okay. I, I'm trying. No, Dave, Dave, Dave. When you, no, 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 no. When she, when there's like eight goes like this. Okay, yeah, but when no, she's, when oh she, my God, when the you, boulders are falling from the sky. Yes. Use the fucking shield. Listen, You're, listen, listen, listen to me, okay? She won't expose herself till you kill all the ants. As you take her down more HP, more ants spawn each wave. They have to all be killed before you can even deal any damage to her. So therefore, there's no point in just holding your shield up and letting the ants bounce off you. You have to go on the offensive. 
there are points when I noticed you could have used a shield, but you weren't. What do you have attack while the rocks are falling? Exactly, Butters. Please follow our advice, at least for that portion. Because you weren't using it, and that bit you in the ass. Like, I can phone call, it's my delayed response. Boot, I'm gonna have to look at other streamers for DS's stories. The way your growth is slow, and why Scrum doubts the game boomers. Yo, know, Scrum's a faggot. Yep. That Actually. We can, that, we can agree, <laughs> that we can agree on. Well, he, uh, apparently he demodded um, Slaughter for banning someone that was, that was posting um, inappropriate things in, in one of the channels. Mm -hmm. And I, I guess it's because his trap was like, because the person was a trap, uh, his trap, his trap was saying like, oh no, you, you should, uh, they're being unfair to traps. I'm like, what? Yeah, I say out of the scrumps, all of scrumps shit, basically. <laughs> Like do do. Scrump is playing favorites, yeah. Yeah, he does though, but like that's it's his service, his business. So yeah, but he's not he, like he's he's demoning a person for doing their job, and I'm not. Uh, this isn't a bias thing. Okay. I'm just because I'm I'm not part of that. Like I'm I'm technically yeah. in that server, but I barely go. Ever. Honestly, I, I honestly don't care about, about that shit. But that's, that's okay. What, what I was talking about before though is like Fox Stadia. You get you get yeah. Apparently it's it's bombed completely. Like, you will say you're launching, like, no one's playing <laughs> of it. Of course they're not. It's a so, piece of shit. So, anyway, so you, 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 you let, you go on trips, mm -hmm. and then you get super rose colored glasses about it. And you know that you do. Also, I realized that, um, certain buttons were not working properly. I wonder if Dom actually broke the controller. Like, sometimes I'll press a button and it won't trigger, and sometimes I'll press it and it will, like, tr trigger multiple times. I'm just trying to. I mean, it's. I'm not saying it's impossible, but at the same time, it could be the game itself. Yes, Ziga Tell, we're still talking about my dumbass trip because we don't want to listen to you talk about bugs. Just play Scrum with Lilith. <laughs> anyway, so yes, you go on trips mm -hmm. and you get rose-colored glasses about yep. it. And I say, Dave, hold on. You're like, no, Ottawa's the best. It's the best. Uh, and I'm just like, Dave, it's because you just got back from Ottawa. Like, have, have a brain about this a little bit. And you're just like, uh, uh. And then, but, but, then, then a couple okay. weeks later, you're back to normal. Okay. You know? So the difference with this trip was it's Toronto, and I don't like Toronto. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't. But you also, but you like a big paycheck. And that's why I had to be like I like, I like the, the paycheck and I, I like mm -hmm. I like the fact that you make more money I'd be doing I'd be doing stuff that would feel more worth, worthwhile. There are benefits of working there like they have they have a gym there like mm -hmm. in the building. Uh, that sounds terrible. Why? Are why, you, why would it be terrible to have something you can access all the time? This is how I know Dave doesn't know office jobs. Okay. Well they're trying to suck you in is to stay there all, all the time. Yeah dude, Google provides housing. For their employees, do you want to live on Google Campus for the rest of your life and literally just, you know, Google Shopping Mall, Google Grocery Store, Google House, Google Google Gym? Never leave Google. Like, is that is that is that the life that you want to lead? <laughs> <laughs> Sweaty people in the office. I, I'm sure they have showers. <laughs> no, but like the, the point is, is that these places they they have like full campuses that that are like almost like cities mm -hmm. because they really want you to fucking stay there. Mm -hmm. You know. Like, I'm aware. It, it, it's no, not. Saw... It's not a complete. Just like, oh, this is the, this is amazing. No, 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 no. This is. It is as much a trap as it is a tool. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. <laughs> well, it's fine. It's coming from the biggest tool of all. <laughs> no, okay, come on, man. Like seriously. Well, I, Dev, I, 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 Dev, I didn't Dev, Dev, you about Dev. This. <laughs> Dev. Yes. You have a. There's a gym here. Are you are you trying to suck me into here too? You are more than willing to go, you, go to the gym downtown then, dude. Like, fuck. <laughs> I don't want to. It's full of crackheads. I keep shouting. <laughs> Seriously, they, there's so many fucking junkies that's hanging on that mall yeah, now. I know, I know. It's awful. Okay. The pay is great. Yeah, the, pay, yeah. the pay obviously is, is definitely much uh, better than where I am. Yeah, yeah. Is it, though, when you, when you account for all the extra expenses? I'm talking about, like, before expenses. Well, that doesn't matter, then. <laughs> really, it doesn't. Dave, I'll give you a million dollar a year job. The only place you're allowed to live, though, is a place that costs a million dollars. <laughs> but it's a million dollars, dude. That money will be going right through you. You know, for those two seconds you have it, you'll feel like a fucking millionaire. Because you will be. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it, it doesn't actually matter. I'm sorry to be the, the Debbie Downer, but it's still the truth. I'm like Debbie Downer. The Debbie Downer. What's up, Inferter? Hey, dude. Yeah. But yeah, man. So I mean, like there are there are there's there's always pluses and minuses to having everything like in one place. Mm -hmm. I, I agree. It's like 
because it can feel like prison, mm -hmm. but it can also feel like a great opportunity. It, it really does depend on what what you're doing and and like how often you're there and yep. you know yeah because. I asked, I even, and that was the great thing about going there, not for an interview, but for a job shadow, is because I did sit there and, and pick their brains constantly about what the hell the office like was like. Yeah. I was like, you know, like how often do you guys stay, like how, what are the hours like? And I'm not saying, like, I, I, I think I'm not saying I'm one of those people that necessarily, you know, is gonna just bunk off at five o'clock on the dot, you know, like it has to be a nine to five, but like what are the hours like? And they said, well, it's kind of between like eight to five, uh, some people come in earlier, some people come in later, and they stay later, that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, and I asked them, like, what about weekends, stuff like that. I said, well, um, the guy, like, the main guy I was, I was shadowing said, I've only stayed over a weekend to work once, and that was when, uh, that was, like, a long time ago. Mm. My office is a tiny little gym in the back closet. Well, that's a horrible trap. We would say a job is because it's got a gym. It's just a gym. It's really convenient. You can go out, work out, your lunch break. It's great. It's way so healthy with an office job. It's hard to get exercise because you desk desk all day. <laughs> Yeah, well, the guy, the guy was shadowing. Uh, well, okay, I'm just gonna say his name. His name is Brian. Um, <laughs> I mean, whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking matter because, like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, ooh. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not fucking doxing the guy for any bad reason like that. Anyways, uh, Dave, he doxer. runs, he runs yoga classes every Wednesday. You know, like stuff like that. Like, that's that's fine. Even if I went to a yoga class once a week, big deal. The double like me wider your personal beliefs. Uh, you know what, Dragon Fat? I did kind of keep my mouth shut about about shit like that. I, I didn't talk about the channel or anything like that. Uh, <laughs> I actually had the guy. Okay, the, the the fucking desk clerk at the hotel yeah. said, "You actually sound your accent. It sounds a bit American." I'm like, "Dude, I'm from Northern Ontario." <laughs> <laughs> but I, like, I do have uh, I, we have fans of um, like Twitch and, and YouTube and stuff like that um, that are American. I don't know. Maybe I picked up some of their accents. I talk to them or something. I have no idea. I was like, "Oh, you have a you have a channel? Like, what, what's what's the channel?" I'm like, okay, this guy is a fully Toronto. B slash two, whatever. Yeah. Fuck, I'm, I'm confusing my categorization again. <laughs> okay, one, fully Toronto. Two, obviously very gay. And three, most likely SJW. I'm not saying a fucking word. Why not, dude? Just tell him. No. Who cares? Because. Why would you want? Why the fuck would you want fat asses like Dave working in your office whenever they can kill her from heart attack at any moment? Hey, listen. If you ever want to prevent Dave from getting a job, just anonymously email his employer the link to the channel. <laughs> <laughs> this is Dave Nix, truly. <laughs> That's when I'd actually travel back here and murder you. Because <laughs> at least, you know, if I'm in prison, at least I get three meals a day and a fucking roof over my head. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I didn't say I'm going to do it. I said that they can do it if they want. Hmm. I'm not going to be fucking part of it. And someone from Game Grub <laughs> say Jake Paul. Oh my god. But, but anyway. Dave, Dave Nix talks to his fans. Amazing. I thought he was like Dev and ignores everyone, but he's busy turning all of his edited content into live stream. <laughs> Turning all my edited content to live streams. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> what a bad magic trick that is. <laughs> <laughs> Truly. This guy's a Chris Angel of his time. A Chris Angel. What is that motherfucker still doing? Uh, I'm decomposing this. <laughs> 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 Dev, Dev, Dev jokingly said, Hey, D Dave, you realize, like, instead of, you know, going live with your sister and um, just, like, saving up down in Toronto, you could just go work at the mill and just live with your parents for a year. And, like, and you'd probably save more money, too. Yeah, yeah like the, basically the same kind of scenario. And I said, yeah, except that uh, if I moved down to Toronto, I wouldn't be fucking swinging from the rafters and decomposing a ditch somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Things lifts. Let's play a Star Fox 64. Oh, it's <laughs> all the two exhaust ports! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. Tell me you work with a shitty John Turner probably <laughs> sucks all the joy of your life. Oh, I did. <laughs> I totally did. Okay, anyway, anyway, let's actually have the conversation, okay? So, because cause you were like, it's so good, it's so good. I'm like, hold on a minute. Not to necessarily put a damper on your parade here, but here's why it's not actually as much money as you think, and here's why it's probably not as good as you think. And then you were like, oh yeah, dude. And then I, I like showed you the rents, and you were like, oh my god, the fucking rents are so high. <laughs> yeah. You're like, dude, we'll just, we're, we're, all, we're gonna live in North York, okay? It'll be fine. And I look at. I up. didn't actually say I was gonna live in North York, because I knew, I knew how expensive it was. Yeah, that, that was the place that you, that you said. You were like, no, you did say that. You were like, North York. And I was like, okay. Well, at the time, okay. At, and, until when, I until I discovered the rents. <laughs> this is what I. Oh, mean, no, it was right? more like until I until I actually spent the time there. Where the fuck do I go? I don't know. To have soy face the whole time I was there. Yeah. No. No, I didn't. So anyway, I was like, listen, man, it's, it's kind of a problem here that you're, that you're not really thinking about. And I knew that you weren't thinking about it because you were you were on the high of being of doing the trip, right? 
It's, it's not like a, a mark against you. Well, I mean, it kind of is because that's your personality. You, you go on trips and you, you get like enamored with it. Like, I'll give you like a free trip to North Korea. You'll be like, North Korea's the best. Um, no. <laughs> the thing was, I'm not enamored of Toronto at all. I don't actually like the idea of living in. I don't. I, t I truly don't. I just liked what I saw at the office. I liked the. I liked mm -hmm. what I the, what I could potentially do yep. as a career. But it's also at least for the time being. But, but but more importantly though, it's like I could pay off my debt, and then I was like, hold on, no, you couldn't, because you don't have a place to live, and it's just gonna fuck it. It's just gonna suck it right out of you if you try to live there. Yeah. You're not gonna be able to just, you know. And then you're like, oh yeah, that's right. And then I was like, well, if you live with your sister, maybe you could do it. If you like get a vehicle, live with your sister, commute. Um. Yeah, live with your sister, commute. Um, that 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 sort of situation. If you did that, Dave, then maybe you'd be okay. Yeah. But that also requires your sister saying yes to you living with her for a year. No, yeah, like, and I haven't approached her about it yet. Because the thing is, is like she's not looking for a roommate who's party Dave. You know, she has a husband, she has kids, okay. she she has she has like a life going, she has like a professional career. Yep. Like she she doesn't want you to show up there. To like Definitely be a roommate them. and like trash the room and like be up at 2 a.m. playing guitar or bringing people over. Like you'd be a guest and you'd have to live like a guest, mm -hmm. and you have to do that for a year. Mm -hmm. But if you could do that, yeah, and just sa save all your money, you could actually take this job and like pay off your your uh, like at least like, like two thirds of your debt over the course of one year. You know, yeah. And then you know if you did that, then you, then <laughs> but then if you did that, you you would be able to leave. Be like, okay, like I've, I, my contract's up. I don't want to live in Toronto. I'm out. Yeah. Then you could come back here. We could go somewhere else. You know, it wouldn't matter. Right. But that, that was my point. Yeah. I can't find out where to fucking go. That's because you've been meandering around this conversation for the last 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just live in the office of a job. I, you know what? The, the job I was thinking of applying for, it would have involved long hours. It would have. Mm -hmm. Because it was, it was called the... Um, it was a merchant assistant, which is like part of the merchandising team. I would be working closely with uh, specific, a specific vending company, probably one that would I would have more familiarity with, like something like Milwaukee, yeah. you know, like it's like a, like a hardware a hardware company of some kind. Oh, and then, so you're like, okay, well, you know, the uh, the job that I want to apply for, it's uh, it closes in two days. Yep. I'm like, okay, so Dave comes back, he has to go to work, he stays with Dom for a while, fine, fine, fine. Dave's like, Dave was supposed to get off work yesterday. Kedra was a male escort. <laughs> Dave was supposed to get off was supposed to get off work yesterday. And then at like 3.30, come here, get his resume in order, apply for the job. Because the job opening that we've been talking about Dude, this if whole, I come back, time, if I come here, I wouldn't have had time because of the stream. No, you would have. Dude, no, easily. No, I, I, I wouldn't have because I, I, think I, still, I still need I mean, to get my references. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, but you so, just keep talking. <laughs> because you keep interrupting and I have to like fucking... Okay. Let me actually say it then, and you'll see how quickly it goes by, goddammit. Okay. So, what ends up happening is this, uh, the, oh, here, we find a fucking find a, find a place to go. So, the, the application for the job ended yesterday at midnight. Yeah. And you were like, okay, uh, I just gotta, just gotta come home, do the resume, send it off. And fine, you know, you, you, you get home, you have like eight hours to do it. That would have been more than enough time to do it. And I still think do the stream, but you disagree. Fine, you disagree, it doesn't matter. But you, you could have come home and do it, you've done it. And then you like get like a fucking injury. Yeah, no, you, you, like, I slipped on the ice. You slip on the ice, you hurt your back, and you're like, oh, I'm just not gonna fucking bother applying. <laughs> no. <laughs> and I was like, okay, okay. This is this is this is dev. This is one of your. This no, is it's not. Fault of yours is that you over. You said this. <laughs> no, okay. I said, I said, I I need to get all my references in order. Still, mm -hmm. I don't have time to do it now. Which means I can't get the resume done on time. That was it. Like you can't send off a resume like that with it incomplete. It's got to be in order. You got to have your references. Like they have to know that they're still references. You got to like you got to update it. Like this is this this is professionalism, man. Mm -hmm. So I what I realized was I didn't have time to put all my all my eggs in one basket. And I yeah. said, okay, well, I'm not. I, I'm missing this opportunity. But there will be other opportunities, yeah, and I need to figure out stuff with with yeah, you, housing you, and stuff as well. Well, you said you said on Facebook you were like, yeah, they're gonna have like more opportunities in the spring with more more. Well, more I was thinking I was thinking of applying for something. If I was going, if I could make sure I had everything in order, I would apply close to the springtime. Because if I was going to be getting housing of any kind, whether or not I was with my sister or not, 
the chances would be much better. Mm -hmm. And also, the weather would be better, so it would make moving much easier. Yep, and I agree, I agree with you. Yeah, so that's basically what That's basically it, yeah. yeah. So, well, then, but then we, we talked about it like before the show, and I was like, okay, so you have to, you have to I, I mean, my opinion is, is you should square things away with your sister first, anyway. Mm -hmm. Because, like, you even said, if she if she's like, no, you can't live with me. You even said you probably unless wouldn't go. I, yeah, well, unless I could find some other opportunity, like, like with Eve or something like that, then, yeah. We'll stop it. Everyone starts like, there's actually more people than ever. <laughs> would you live, would you live with fucking Eve? The thing is, his, his girlfriend actually has a house. Now, I would... Or they would know something. That's the thing. I know people who know people. Yep. If, if it came down to it, if I was going to do that sort of thing where I, you know, go off by myself for a year or whatever amount of time and live cheaply, blah blah blah. I mean, you, the, you need the, a cheaper place. I would need provide. to set everything up. Yeah, because that like, is basically what it comes yeah, down yeah, to. Yeah, the market value of houses is just too high. So you, okay. you need to. Like, you, you missed. You missed the uh, grub. It's right here. I know. No, you didn't miss a grub. You missed one of the windows. Yeah, I'll get it later. This is a circular area, dude. I can get him anytime I want. Yeah, you've been running in circles your whole life. Can <laughs> <laughs> so I leave you? Well, no promises, buddy. The thing is, okay. We're just going to sum this up right now. Well, I'm done. I, I had a very good trip. Yep. I really enjoyed it. Yep. I, I like the prospects of, of, of working in a place like that. At least, you know, even short term. It's a lot of logistics to handle, though. So I am basically right now, I'm sticking where I am. Yep. And I'm okay with that. Well, I think like the, the most important takeaway is like, Dave, if you can't handle the, the housing situation and your choices are take take the job and spend like half your income or more on rent, or don't take the job, <laughs> what would you choose? I just wouldn't take the I just find a job here if I absolutely had to. Yeah. So. And that's in my opinion, that's the right choice. Yeah. 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 There you go. Stop talking about work. Dave, Dev doesn't pay me for names both. No. Right. Yeah, yes, it was Toronto. <laughs> so, I guess since, uh, yes, oh, reiterating about, about I, Death Stranding. Oh, oh, I, I didn't even know about this. Yeah, man. Reiter oh, reiterating about, about um, Death, Death Stranding. Stranding. Sucks. So, yeah, Dev and uh, Naomi are kind of over the game. I said, no okay, so, I I, it, like, I'm going to keep playing the game on my own. Yeah. If I get to the point where I can legitimately um, catch up to where you guys were and there's still some interest from... So enough people in the chat and like I'm gonna do a solo stream, I could pick up where they left off. That's it. Okay, so what I'd like to do. The axe. The My axe huge Kojima. There. I I I do like Kojima. I do. Dave Especially when he goes to Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. This is like you coming back from Model Parliament, yapping about Ottawa on the stream for an hour. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> that was a joke, you dipshit. I know, so is that. Yeah. <laughs> How many packs does Norma's be delivering today? Like 50,000? Actually, you just got here. Like, you, you haven't been playing anything. You came home and like, we just did this. Yeah. Okay, there he yeah, is. Yeah, I, I, haven't, I haven't played any games today. There's the boss. I did, hey. have, I did have Endgame on. Hold the on a minute. Hold, okay, hold on. That's the shield. That is throw. Okay, so I should be using the boomer axe. We're not an hour. And the regular axe. To attack the... Okay. I think we can do this. Let's hope, okay? Oh, oh Zigaton. Sh shut Zigaton, up. Zigaton, why don't you just mute us then? <laughs> Zigaton, how about you just kill just... yourself? <laughs> Zigaton, move to, move to Toronto, Zigaton. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> then you would want to kill yourself. <laughs> it's so yeah, veiny. Let's, it. let's do it. Here we go. I doubt. Remember the shield. Okay, we're, I'm, doing, I'm taking this seriously. Don't forget the shield. Fucking axe. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Dev, I saw ants that big in Toronto. Shut up. I'm so fucking done with you. Fair enough. Um, I did I did get to see my sister, though, which is nice. Did you yeah, actually? Yeah, she took me out for dinner. Uh, we met oh, at the uh, Yorkdale Mall, which is fucking, like, the bougiest mall I've ever seen. It's so asshole. It's like it's so many asshole. Like, just you know your typical New York, like big city snob people. Yeah. Just full of them. Just so fucking. Okay, this is where you use the shield. Using it? Yes. Just in case you get hit. Okay, very good. What does this look like? Um, like a younger version <laughs> of my mom with red hair. <laughs> yeah, she's dude. You you are not. Well, that's good. To, it's good to hear uh, another shut-in. 
Shit, that wasn't a shield. Less hairy meat. No, she doesn't look anything like me. In fact, we went to the Disney store. I, I was there to um, buy. We were, I was looking for a gift for my niece who finally is fucking in a frozen. And my sister's Let it kid. go. Shut up. Let it Shut go. Shut up. Shut up. Anyways, yes, so my niece is in a frozen. She's in a Disney shit. Uh, God damn it. I got her, I got her like fucking Elsa doll because I knew she'd like it. My shield's almost dead. My shield's almost dead. Switch. Switch shields. Switch shields. Hold on. I said switch shields. <laughs> Fight, 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 fight. Is it Elsa with me this time? I don't fucking know. Okay, I'm ready. Dude. Uh, yeah, the, the, but the girl, the woman at the counter, she legitimately thought that my sister and I were together. Oh, no. And it's not the first, because we don't look anything alike. Oh, God, dude. Yeah, switch shields to switch to a better shield or at a least better shield is the best one that we okay. have. Switch to then switch to the copper shield, less protective, fine, whatever. But it has more, you know, more HP, whatever you want to call it. She's so close to dying. I'm almost up. Is the it wrong time to ask Winston says Winston? Yes. <laughs> there we go. Hit her. I can't, there's a fucking ant, oh, dude. fucking ants. There's ants, man. Like, you can't just, like, no, I'm fucked. I'm fucked again. I'm fucked again. What's the difference between Damon's sister, Devs, and Kiss? Okay, seriously, seriously, man. Like, yeah, Frozen is trash. Okay, okay. Shut, shut up, shut, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, I can't just be, you're like, attack me. You can't when there's still ants around. Okay. Okay. For fuck's I, sake. I, I realize, I realize the targeting system in this game is, is trash. It's absolute shit. I'm not faulting, I'm not shitting you for that one. Because that looked like garbage. That looked like a really bad scenario. Oh my fucking god. Okay. Jesus Christ. Okay. Maybe the spear would be a better choice then. You know it's gonna be a better choice? Is my sister hot? I don't know. Try using this intangible sword that has higher DPS. Ah, I did, did try it. It didn't seem like it was... I don't know. It, it didn't seem like it really made much difference. I had a thought. I think you can actually attack him in melee if you walk up that ramp in front of him. Her? Whatever. Oh my god. That is a thought. Spin to win, Dev. Spin to win. We have a spin attack. Wheel of fortune! Yeah, you do. And you have the dash move as well. It's, it was useless, man. Well, it, it helps you with getting around faster. Yeah. So? As it turns out, guys, Dave has decided to move to Toronto to get himself trapped for the next 15 years, and he will be leaving the show because he hates all of you. No, Dev. I'm going to Toronto <laughs> to get you a trap. <laughs> Dude, barrel. Fuck. I, I, Do I have the shields? Okay, the shields. I played Star Fox 64 here. last week. Did you actually? Yeah. Where? Oh, where? At Dumps. Dumps? Yeah. I, uh, I got frustrated, though. She's a 64, doesn't she? She does. Ooh. Come here, you fucking ant boys. Ah. Dave, Dave leaves the day I leave. Hmm. Really, Wing Baron? It's like half people leave when I go. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean. Dude, you leave and like you just, I just be dead. <laughs> <laughs> you'd, wa you'd watch me solo stream Death Stranding. But the game I sucks. <laughs> the thing is, Dev, I. Wait. The great find is old chest skin. Oh, really? Sweet. Wait, what? Non Cherry's uh, he's turning his old sh his old show into a, like re um, radio show type thing into a podcast. Good for him. Yeah. To be fair, Don Cherry is going to be dead in the next year. Star Wars didn't come in. Second son. We're still waiting on it. We're still waiting on it. It's not in yet. Yeah. The costumes came in though. My, yeah. Well, no. Two of them did. Two of them. Yeah. Two of the costumes came in. Yes. So yeah, like, w w when I was thinking that Dave was actually going to leave, I was like, Dave, we got to do, like, extra streams so you can get all these games beat before you go. Because I don't want this to be, like, an yeah, Eric situation. Dev, I told you, I already told you I hadn't applied yet. Yeah, well, that's because you fell. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not because I fell. It's because I, I couldn't I couldn't get a hold of all the people I wanted as references. You could have you could have done it, man. Again, I'm not getting listen, someone listen, to you be and, a reference you and I have without their opinions consent. Okay. I have seen The Mandalorian. I actually liked it. I did. Okay. I thought it was pretty good. Holy fuck, can you ADD a, a, a conversation just one for a minute? It's multitasking now. Okay. I actually have a different, opi different opinion regarding references with you. Like, I think that like when I leave a job, I'm like, hey, can I have you as a reference? And they say yes. And I say, okay, what's your phone number? And they give it to me. And then I just use them. 
and then I have it. Because I already have the you, consent. You've never worked a career job other than this. Uh, <laughs> you don't need I, references for that. When I was working in Toronto, people were career. They, people turn that into careers all the time. You worked at a grocery store. You know what? In Toronto? No, I didn't. I thought you did. I worked at. I worked at. I worked for the city, man. Oh right, you were doing public works. I was public works. Right. That's why I made sixty thousand. Right. <laughs> no man. Yeah, like, Devlin Dev Scarborough, which is like just ghetto as fuck. Yeah, it's ghetto Toronto. Yeah. Dev, why couldn't you made forty k so we could have made all the references? Oh. Well, anyway, my, my point is though, Dave, is like, yeah, no, it's it's considered bad form, like very bad form. <laughs> in no one cares about career talk. Both of you are dead ends. Okay. <laughs> No, well, no, my point is like, like you should have already had the references set up from when you left those jobs. That's all. And but I, I, it's, the problem is, it's been years, what? years. Yeah, and here's the thing. I, okay, I had that before where I ha I, I left the job. I had a reference, and then I, I kept that person as a reference, and then they could they didn't even remember who I was <laughs> because it's been that long. Dave, maybe the problem is that you're just so forgettable. <laughs> Well, Dev, I'm sorry I can't be so annoying that people will remember you just because they hate me so much. That's the way! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, government jobs are usually pretty solid. And that's the thing, like, around here, uh, you know, like, if if the channel stuff isn't sustainable enough, then, you know, if, if, if it's still not viable enough, I was like, okay, I mean, I'll apply for government jobs around here because at least they're contracts. And oh, do you want to, like, go, go to the tax center? Maybe. I mean, it's. I mean, there's other stuff too that I think would be a little bit more applicable with what I they have. They can connect. He's a new guy. Uh, is it the viewers always drop after the first the first hour, so just how most streams do that. Like they kind of like peak in an hour, then they drop in an hour. Honestly, we're only down like four or five people. Yeah. Anyway, Jeez. listen. Hey, Dev, pay your taxes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Dom. <laughs> hey, Dom. Listen, we don't need to talk about this anymore. I'm happy to get, like you, you told the story. And we now know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Everyone's updated. Mm -hmm. You're not leaving. You're not leaving the, the great people anytime soon. So, for you, you're never, you're never leaving me, baby. Try <laughs> start <laughs> Dave, Dom Dave show. We, we don't have the technology to do that. <laughs> we really don't. Dave don't have the wherewithal to do any of that shit. Dom would have to learn how to. Hold on. Hey, hey, uh, hey. Hey guys, maybe, maybe we should start our own stream. You know, just 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 Dave and Dom. We could like break off on our own, do our own thing. Uh, Dom, do all the work. <laughs> no, <laughs> but Dom Dom doesn't have any editing experience. <laughs> also, you know, but careers. I, what, what's wrong? What's wrong, Dragon Fat? Wow. I think she's triggered about it. Yeah, she is. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I want to be successful. <laughs> In some fashion. Hey, Dragon Fat. Hey, Dragon Fat. Guess what? Uh, what do you? What, what, what's another alternate name for um, the the side view mirrors on on a vehicle? Do you have any ideas, Dave? You want to you want to add in? Uh, well, there's rear view mirrors. No, no, no. The side views ones that are on the. Yeah. yeah. Okay. They're called car ears. Oh wow, that's fucking awful. Uh, how do I feel with Mandalorian? Okay. Yeah, yes. Mandalorian, yes. Yes, okay, uh, I, I, leg I legitimately liked it, and so did Dom, and she can corroborate that. Mm. Um, I'd heard, like, Deb was telling me people on Twitter were shitting on it, but oh, yeah, it was also kind of like, like a, but it was like lumping, it was kind of like they were lumping it in <laughs> Disney, Disney Plus. <laughs> I desire to expire. <laughs> no, it, it's, it's gritty, um, the acting was surprisingly good, I liked, like, the way they handled all the, 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 the effects and everything like that, mm. I just... I thought it was pretty well made, and it's and it's like at least. What is the Mandalorian about? It's about a bounty hunter, who's a Mandalorian, I guess. Yes, he is. He wears Mandalorian armor. Um, like, it's supposed to be kind of like you know, like those old Western shows where it's kind of like episodic, yes. but there's still there's an overarching storyline. But it's kind of like think kind of like a hybrid. Okay, uh, hold on. Th think, 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 like, think of stuff like like Next, Gen Next it, it, Generation. It, it, there were still like carrying on, so they carry we'll, on, we'll, we'll but it's episodic. Here, here, here. We'll, we'll talk about Mandalore in a minute. Here's my plan. This, this is the boss chamber again, okay? Okay. Here's the shield. I can boomerang with the shield up, and I can attack with the shield up. Mm -hmm. Okay? Cool. Now, I don't know if it's going to be better to use the charge attack with the hammer or use the axe, because the axe is pretty powerful. But I'm, but I'm not going to go with ammo this time. Okay. Well, Use the hammer? Use okay. The hammer. Okay, Let's switch the hammer. Probably just one of the main ones. <laughs> yeah. 
Actually, maybe I should use. You know what? You know, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to set this as a secondary. I'm, I'm going to use the enchanted sword. Okay. Okay, so here's the plan. But here's why, the plan. Why are you, why are you using no. the sword rather than the hammer? They keep no, saying no, 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 it's a hammer. No, no, because no, the, sword, the sword's more powerful. Out. No, uh, he, he, see, how, see how the boss has that ramp in front of its face? Yes. I think I, I can actually run, run on that yes. and hit it with it. Yeah. So if I can do that, yeah. that's what I'm going to yeah, do. Yes, so you, you did that before, actually. I forgot about doing it. Okay. Well, that's fine. We're going to try. We're going to try. Okay. Okay? Yeah. No more no more job talk. No more Mandalorian talk. No more fucking Zigaton is I a did. loser talk. That thing's adorable. Dave? What? Okay, here we go. Charge off the battle. Charge. Okay, switch. Go. Okay, I'm ready. Yeah. Oh no, never mind. Can I? Yes, it, it's a jump. Okay. You gotta be able to jump right on there. Okay. Yeah. I don't like that uh, the charge is the same as the shield, but. Yeah. Go ninja, go ninja. I watched Ninja Turtles the other night. Too. Did you? I didn't pay for Disney Plus. Uh, Dom tried. She got like the seven-day trial. Although I have the feeling that she's gonna keep it. It's fucking cheap. I keep hearing that it's a terrible service though. So far, I haven't really noticed anything that bad about it. Okay. Let me out. Like we watched a, we watched a couple, uh, we watched like Hercules and Mulan on there because you know, it was a couple of those movies we, we really liked when we were kids. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously we watched Mandalorian and I watched a couple other things. So I think like fucking Mary Poppins and shit. Oh, and I watched. I had I had like Avengers Endgame on when I was doing shit today. Because <laughs> I refused to watch that thing in theaters. Absolutely refused. Oh, it's excuse me. Yeah, you're not doing time there, man. Such an old combat. Yeah. It definitely needs. It definitely needs squeaks. Oh, nice. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Okay. It's fine. Fine. Okay. Oh shit. The shield. Okay. The shield's gone. The shield's gone. You can still um, do it. You can still do it. I know you can. Uh, dude. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Go. 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 go, go march. Ninja, march. Go, I gotta get all the ants go, first. Go, ninja. Go, ninja. Go. Get the ants. 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 Funny bastard. To yourself. Do it, do it! Yes! Nice! Oh, I did it! <laughs> I finally did it! Yes. Mmm! Waiting for Ops in the mail on the stream oh God. to sign up heal, for the 7 heal, day trial heal, and cancel heal, the marathon watch. Yes! Wait, is this a heal? Is it? No, it's not. It's, an end. it's the end. Bless. You did Holy it! You saved, the, you saved the school! I have a feeling that when the Mandalorians finish, they're not going to offer the 7 day trial anymore. <laughs> Uh, the thing is that, well, first of all, one, I, I keep hearing the Mandalorian sucks. Two, I keep hearing. Here you are tonight. Thanks very much. Thanks, lady. I keep hearing that the Mandalorian sucks. I keep hearing that Disney Plus as a service sucks. And three, I don't like the idea of the streaming service balkanizing into like ten different services that all cost fifteen dollars a month. It's, it's just as bad as cable. I'm just gonna pirate. It's not fifteen dollars a month. It's six. It's seven. It's half the cost of Netflix. I'm still gonna pirate it. Oh yeah, that's fine. I'm not gonna blame you. Or, or 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 alternately, if Dom's okay with it, just fucking log in with yeah. her her, her okay. account. What happened? Why are we on the world map? I don't know. I guess Netflix we'll... was it was seven dollars. Uh, 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 uh. We'll figure out why I'm on the world map next time.